Welcome to the stream. Survive the nights. Seems to be only on the server unless we can host our own, but for now we're gonna check this out. So there are seven of ten people. I suppose yes. Oh, five of thirty, that's USA region USA. That's a very low ping for a USA region. But let's go. Do we have a 30 server? No? 410? EU, there you go. 410 seems to be okay. Let's do that. Alpha 1.0. Okay. EU 9. We're gonna can we favorite that? So that we remember it again. It probably will favor it automatically once we join. Oh, there we go. Now it's favorite. So we should be able to find it here. Excellent. Just in case we get disconnected. Yeah, I know you can download the Steam server files for the other game and um, just run it locally. So that's the controls. WASD, interact, reload. So pretty normal controls. Inspect F. Okay, so we're going to be browsing around a lot in the beginning. I hope we have the time and don't get attackulated straight away. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, it's looking good. We're, we're working. We're, oh, is that a person or is that a fence? It's probably a fence. I, I commonly mistake people for fences. <laughs> okay, day one. Wow, okay. So, press F for seeing vital stats. Okay, so that's good. I can see my hands. I can see... I put the camera in the middle because I wasn't sure exactly what we're going to have on screen. So, we'll see. And when I click, I can't do anything. So, we can't punch a tree. Now, that is... The first thing. Press F to view and guide. Is it P? Oh, there we go. Camp trailers are marked with small yellow arrows. Find one and it will lead you to a starting camp. Okay, I saw that little arrow there. Harvest wood. Harvest from fallen trees so you pick it up. Okay. Uh, craft a club. Once you find firewood upon your inventory, create a tab. Uh, search for wooden clubs and craft your first weapon. Harvest cloth. Now, this is being streamed, of course, and um, if you guys are watching it on YouTube, I will be pushing it from Twitch straight away, probably as raw as possible, onto um, YouTube, and um, then we go from there. It might be more than one episode straight up, but we'll see how we get on. Now, I'm going to have to look at the chat every now and then because a lot of you have played the game probably before. So I'm looking for backseat gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much, but a little bit. Okay, so we have the arrow here that we found the trail. Good. So now we expect it to pick up wood. So I'm assuming... Let me just actually change my mouse. It's a little bit too sensitive because I'm using a very high DPI mouse. Okay. Oh, look at that. Controls. Mouse, fire, aim, interact is E and F, cycle. Okay. So nothing out of the ordinary. Sprint left shift. Okay, looks all pretty normal. Crafting O, inventory I. Okay. We might change some change some things around if we need to. Yeah, that's that's a little better. Oh, okay. So when we press tab, we can see the other players. And I is inventory. Okay. Create guide. Okay, so that's all very different than what I'm used to, which is good, which is good, which is interesting. Okay, so let's just walk around a little bit and see if there's anything we can pick up. There's some... Is there any wood pieces on the ground here? There's something. Oh, that's stones. But we can't pick them up. Okay. So I will be completely like a noob running around trying to pick things up. Or interact with them. Interact is F as well, is it? Oh, no. That's just that. Okay. So we're already losing water. Our brain is half working, which is good. So we should be safe. We should be zombie safe. Okay, so let's follow this trail. Ooh, look at that. So how do we pick up wood again? Harvest wood from fallen trees in starting camps in the wild. Oh, in starting camps. Okay, so here we have a starting camp. Yes, oh, look at that. I found nothing, I found nothing. Can I just keep going or will it always say I found nothing? Okay, this, this says I found nothing. So let's see. Yes, two green berry. So this is bushes. And can we tap on the trees? It can be cut down with a tool. Ooh, okay. So we have to find loose wood first. <laughs> we might be a member of the fence people. 
Uh, Jimmy Fingers, did you enjoy the new Star Wars game? Yes, I did. And um, I definitely will continue playing that. Uh, we had a great stream playing it. And I posted all of the stream onto the second channel. Um, in about half an hour videos, easy digestible so people don't have to force themselves watching the full thing and then remember where they stopped. Okay, so this is a tool. So how do I find loose wood? So this is just berry bushes. Okay. We may or may not find berries in that. Okay. And it says trees around camps. So I would assume they're lying on the ground somewhere. It will be, Karun, yes. I, I will be pushing that probably to YouTube just as a raw stream. Um, love the new Star Wars stream. Come a long way, apparently. Mantech Gaming, we're soon going to find out by watching. Hold E to collect. Yes, I'm trying to... I can't pick up these and I can't do the tree. So this is something I can't do. So if we look at this, it says harvest from fallen trees in starting camps. Okay, fallen trees. How do we find a falling tree? Oh, there. The, well, that looks like a fallen tree. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm an idiot. There we go. Tinder, firewood, tinder, and that's it. Okay. Open crafting menu and click search next to the item name to view the recipes. Okay. Oh, look at that. So this is all the things we can craft. Okay. Very good. So what's the first thing again that we have to craft? A club. Once you found firewood, open your inventory and the create tab search for wooden club. Oh, the guide is actually here as well. So I don't have to press a separate button. So create club. Wooden club. This is a really weird crafting menu. I, I like it. It's just weird in the sense that I'm not used to this type of uh, crafting menu. So how do we craft it now? Create. Okay. So this is interesting. So it's like your little notebook. You write down, oh, to make a club, I do this, I need this and this. So it, it seems to be more like, like that, you know? So, okay, so how do I equip this now? Oh, there, wooden club. Weapons. Okay, harvest cloth. How do I equip the wooden club? Oh, this is in my inventory. Okay. Hmm. Is it on my person? Press 1. Oh, look at that. So it's already on my person. So, yes, yeah, sorry. If I look like I'm an absolute idiot, it's because I'm not used to games that don't have a character screen, that don't have drag and drop things to hotbars, so this is all very new to me. But that's what we're here for, to figure it all out. Okay, so we have a club, and now we have a cloth. Do we hit the tents? Or we search the tents, I suppose. Okay, can we craft it into bandages? And that's it, there's no more. Okay, can we sit? Oh, we can get more wood from this. Oh, nice. Okay. I didn't realize that. And, oh, campfire. Yeah, we're going to do that in a second. So craft bandages. So I'm opening the crafting window again. Go to create and type in bandages. Okay, so bandages. And create. A box of adhesive bandages. No workbench required. Okay. Bandages. Here we go. Look at that. So here's the recipe. Bandages included. So this is anything that has... Oh, treated bandages. Wow, okay. So we have one quantity of bandages. Now, harvest metal. How do we do that? Scrap metal can be found in numerous areas around the world. Harvest at least three pieces. So I'm assuming we expect it to continue walking? This is the UI. Yeah, that's the UI sound. These type... Yeah. So let's see if we can find some metal around. I suppose we're going to follow the trail. That's what we're supposed to do. Can I hit this? Do I get anything from it? No. Okay. 
So we're gonna continue following the trail. No, this is... Th oh, oh, okay. Maybe up here. So this is definitely very new to me, um, the way this works. I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. I mean, this tells me to go over here. Can we do anything with these stones? Can we harvest them? Little tr Oh, chicken! There's a chicken here somewhere. Hello, chicken. Oh, look at that. There's a chicken. Okay. We oh, wow. Look at that. There's actually a town. Okay, that's pretty intense. I don't know if I'm going off track or not. Because I still have to do the introduction here. So we have to find some metal. So do I find metal here or do I... I don't know. Harvest water. Harvest water from the rain barrels, river standing ponds or other sources. You must have an empty canteen. Craft a canteen. Open your inventory, click search button, scrap metal and select canteen. So to find scrap metal, we find it anywhere in the world, which means to me I'm pretty much on my own now. I suppose. So let's go towards where there's buildings. Metal can be found in old cars and on the ground. It looks red, says the colors. 25, thank you so much. I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. The chicken, I will catch up with it. Okay, it's evil chicken. Just remembered, when the zombie apocalypse starts, it was because you didn't kill the wild chicken. It's the wild chicken. End of story. Okay, so this is just normal rocks. I don't think we can interact with them or anything. No. Okay. Oh! Search. So this tree I can touch. Can do the touches on this tree. I can't do the touches on the rock. Okay, what is that? Rocks. So metal looks red. What is this? This looks red, but I think that's still tree. You might get something from it though. Okay, do we have a weight system? As in, there's only so much you can carry? Oh, we have calories. Okay, that's interesting. And currently carrying 60.3 pounds out of 100. The light and everything is okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. That was a heavy jump. Let's see what we have here. I hope we're not going to get stuck in the rocks. Oh, what is that? Let's see if we can sneak in there. Yes, I think we can. Oh, this is nice. Is this water? That looks like water. Oh, we need a canteen. Okay, it just went shipping crate. There we go. So if we loot something, we can see it in here. Okay. Press E to open. There's nothing in them. Okay. I assume 0 out of 10 means there's... Oh, 2 out of 18. There's two items in it. Clean rags and cardboard. Take all. Okay. So we don't need to click on it. You see, I don't trust the game. It says 1, but I'm like, okay, maybe there's more in it. Okay. What is this? Is this metal? Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, hang on a second. Dude. Oh, wow. Uh, take all of this. Thank you. What the hell was that? A headlamp? Propane gas? Oh, that must have been from another person. How do we equip a gun? Oh, three. No way. Oh, I forgot we're on a server. Okay. Um, can I take the backpack? How can I pick, can I pick up a backpack? I'm kind of feeling very exposed all of a sudden. Okay. I forgot we were on a server with multiple people. It's a dead guy's bag. Yeah, it looks like a player's bag, all right. So now we have all these items, and can we change the zoom? No? Okay. 
Oh, there we go. I can go sc scroll through my. I'm unarmed. Tools, no weapon. Flashlight. Okay. Shotgun, no weapons. Rifles. So each slot has kind of when you scroll through with your mouse has is a designated slot. Okay. Okay, I don't see anybody. I'm gonna probably die anyway. So let's have a look at the inventory and see what we have here. Antiseptic, bandages, cardboard. I don't know if there's anything I don't need. Enable? Oh, okay, disable. Nails? Scrap metal? Do I even have ammunition for all that? I, I don't know if I have ammunition for that. How do I know if I have ammunition for that? Oh, there's a map. Use. Oh, look at that. Do we see where we are on the map? No, I don't think so. So we just have to have a wild guess or something where we are. But that's the map. Black Island. Alpha Early Access map. So we could be anywhere on this map right now. Lamp attracts zombies. Okay, that's not good. So we definitely have to leave that off. Oh, look at that. It's getting all foggy now. Oh, I don't feel so safe anymore. That's red. Is that metal? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to head down there, I think, because I don't feel very safe right now. I know I'm probably get shot. I'm not very good at PvP games. Hey guys! Okay, he's dead. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, hang on a second here. They're so aggressive. Oh, there's no ammunition! That's why he was dead. Okay, I can't hit them, but they can hit me. Why can I not hit them? Hang on a sec. Okay. Hold and search. What do we find? Nine millimeter rounds. They have a lot of ammunition for dead people. Does any of the ammunition come for this? Nope. Okay, so how do we heal ourselves? Bandages. Can I not use them? Double click? Right click? How do I use bandages? Hang on a second. Controls. How do I heal myself? How do I wrap bandages? Flashlight is V. Okay, that's a weird button for flashlight. Does the bag stay in place if there's no one on the server? The servers are persistent. Okay. Well, let's close the door. Or, well, we might as well go in. <coughs> Doors can be slammed. Hey, girl. So if we hit her before she hits me, then we can interrupt her. Okay, and we're okay. Player storage. Ooh. A lock must be placed before the storage can be used. Oh, look at that. You need a lock kit and a crosshead screwdriver to attack a lock. Some weapons are more effective against locks. Okay. Can we destroy this? What is on the couch here? Nothing of interest. Oh. Open. A household desk lamp. A light bulb. Quantity zero. So we actually can put light bulbs in there and then turn the lights on. Okay. Can I lock the door? 
Oh, we can put locks actually on it. That is so awesome. Yeah, we don't have a lock. Oh, what is this? A wedge. Okay. It's empty. Kitchen cabinet. Okay, can we take all of that? No, we can't. We are full. I mean, I have to get rid of some stuff because I don't even know what I'm actually carrying here. All that stuff. Cardboard. I don't even know what cardboard is for, so let's move that. Can I sort it by weight? Small engine cooperator. That, that must be heavy. Yeah. We have some scrap metal, so we can actually craft a canteen. Just let me catch up a little bit with chat here for a second. Um, Blood Raven, thank you very much for the 12 months soap. You're amazing. Thank you. Hammer first. Thank you for the bits. And um, Bacon gifting two tier one subs to Samage Bag and Fury Vixen. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. And welcome to the G4K Ninjas. So, fortifications back. Okay, so let me catch up with chat for the people that actually know more about the game. Um... Make bandages from rocks. Okay, so we got that. The, this keeps track of player placed items, fortifications, and back locations. Okay. And things will continue. Okay, so I w um, the servers will most likely be like Ark, I assume, is, um, that they continue to run. So if you're not there, I suppose, I don't know if your body will stay there, but if you're not there, I would assume that other players can interact with your body if, you, if your body stays in. Oh, fill a bottle. Yeah, we have to craft a canteen, so let's do that. Create canteen. There we go. An empty canteen. Let's craft it. What do we need for it? One scrap metal. We have some scrap metal, so we can craft it. Okay, where's our canteen showing up? Over here. Now, will it automatically... Oh, it's dark as balls. Chini Mac. Oh, we have a light though. Good. I really wish I could see my character. So can we fill up water here now on the canteen? You can fill empty bottles by using the fill button next to an item name. The fill button. So I have to go into my... Huh? No, that's not, that's not how we do it. Dirty water taken, so that's full now. Is it? Empty can. Let me see. Where's my canteen? Oh, okay, so now the canteen is full of water. Okay, it became a water canteen. I see. Can we fill it more? No. So it automatically uses whatever you have in your inventory. Oh, ramen. Okay, can I eat it? And how much does it help? Oh, plus 150, but we're thirsty now. Okay. Baked beans. Oh, we can't eat anymore. We can drink the dirty water. What happens? Okay, actually, okay, let's fill it up again. There we go, nice. So we start a fire. How do we start a fire? Create tinder and start a campfire with harvested firewood. Starting camps provide a cooking grill so you don't need to craft one yet. Well, we're nowhere near one yet, so we might have to do the grill ourselves. So let's see if we have a fire. Um, a campfire. Yeah, we can craft it. I like the way this crafting is completely different than other games like Seven Days to Die. So it's very unique to me anyway. I haven't seen that type of crafting system before really. Um, let me see. Misk, campfire. 
So how do we place it down? How do we use it? Starting camps, right? So, so how do we place down a campfire? Let me see. Tools, wooden club, unarmed. Rifles, shotguns, flashlights, tools, no weapons. And, okay. How do I use it? I don't know. Do I just place it down? Some beans there. Clam chowder. Ooh, I wouldn't eat anything to do with fish in an apocalypse. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, what is this? Can't really read that. What does it say? Player storage. So all of this is considered player storage. Okay. I think we're pretty much done with that, but um, oh, you hold shift and then hit place. Okay, so let's go in there. Ah, look at that. I didn't know that. Very good. And it even says it down there. Shift place, I think. Yeah, shift place. Very good. Oh, look at this. That is so cool. Well, it belongs in the kitchen. Oh, we placed it. Okay. And what do we do now with it? Interact. Open. So we're going to put firewood inside. Add firewood. Add tinder. And interact. <gasps> we have plastic. Oh, our health is going up. Just like you said. Oh, that is nice. I love it. We can turn the light off now. Oh, this looks nice. And feel the heat. And feel the heat. That I did, uh, Dino Guy. Thank you so much for letting me know that it's shift. I hope it doesn't burn the house down. Actually, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> so can I? It says purify water. So can I purify water? I'm holding shift. There's no special thing, and I can't move it. Oh, I can take the fire again. Oh, interesting. Open. No, I can't move that in there. If you place items, it will save the location of the things you place, whether it be snacks, items, etc. So you don't need storage. Oh, okay. So unless somebody else picks it up, the item will always be there. That is really cool. I like that. That gives it a really nice level of realism. It's, uh, you might need a pot to boil the water. Okay. Oh, it said something about a grill or something. So let's see, actually, purifying water. Place the canteen of dirty water on the lit campfire's grill and it will boil. So we don't have a grill because we walked away from the camp. So now we have to see if we can make a grill. Hopefully it's just scrap. Three scrap metal. We don't have three scrap metal. Interesting. So how, many, how much scrap do we have? Ooh, we have no scrap, uh, no scrap left. So why don't we open a cabinet and put some food inside? Where's the food? So if I click here, I don't know what that is. Where's the food? Here, cupcakes, crackers. Oh, you can eat some crackers. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, we're just gonna get some health back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the crackers in here and in this one we're probably gonna again somebody else can come and kill us very easily like so I'm, I'm assuming that would be the case so we're just gonna move things like anything to do with engines and all that should be very heavy isn't it there you go spark plugs spark plugs and i'm assuming we can repair cars maybe at some point Okay, does it tell you? Oh, it actually shows you the weight here. Okay. Of course, this one is heavy because it's a gun. But we have no bullets for it. Interesting. Yeah, with a wrench and scrap metal, you can repair cars. 
Um, okay, I need to scrap metal. So, oh, I like the shadow and everything. This is amazing. Well, we might as well go outside. I mean, we're probably gonna die, but might as well get. Oh, a sleeping bag. Can I craft a sleeping bag? Is that something I can already do? Yes. Because I'm assuming a sleeping bag lets you save your progress. Okay. Can I not um, put it down? There we go. Place. Okay. Hold. Okay, I placed it. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? So I can take it or I can place it. How do I sleep in it? Can I not sleep with it? Oh, sleep. Log off. You're about to log off at a safe position. Your location will be safe and you will spawn at this location next time you join the game. Oh, I thought you can sleep throughout the night. That, that would be awesome. Oh, okay, here's where, here's where I can fill up the water if I want to. Oh, she's a big mama. Okay, let's see what you have. Nothing for me. Oh, there's zombies over there. I'm looking for metal. Oh, this looks like metal. I might get a grill here. Oh, coming. Ah! Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. <laughs> I get a lot of 12 gauge. Can I have a shotgun, please? We need a grill. I need to find a grill. Or a scrap metal. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Hey. Okay. Got some rags. I don't know how they managed to be clean rags, to be honest. Okay, let's go back to the fire. Come on, close the door. And that way we can heal up a little bit more. Ow! Ow! No, 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 this is the opposite of healing up. Dude, dude, really. Really, this is the opposite of healing up. Genie Mac. We have Charlie from Cincinnati joining the stream. Charlie, that's a very unfortunate name, if you know what I mean. I really, really hope you have a long life and prosper. In my experience, anything I named Charlie doesn't survive very long. But you, I, I didn't name you, so it should be okay. What 7 Days to Die mod is this? It's called the um, Realism mod. <laughs> no, it's Surviving Survive the Nights. I think that's what it's called. No touchy the fire. No need for molotovs in this game. That is correct. We don't need molotovs. We just walk over fire. So let's see actually if we can chat with the community. Okay, are we gonna do the typical chat? Hi. I need a friend. Um, I am harmless. And will not rob you. There you go. Let's see if anybody is online. Oh, zombies killed. We survived the night. We're on day two. Distance traveled. Overall health unchanged. You did not eat enough calories to increase your overall health. Well, excuse me. Um, by the way, we are lying. The first person we see, we clobber to death. Or die trying. <laughs> but apparently this is how you play these games. You say, hey, I want to be friends. And, you know. Um, 
Why does the team say say it was made by the front yes. <laughs> From warehouse containers, easily blown up vehicles. Okay, so we have to go and check the road for easy metal. You would think uh, this is giving me metal. Oh, it's a wood stove. Okay. Okay. What about this TV? Mm. All right. Okay. Computer doesn't give me metal. Let's check if we can find any cars. I mean, this is what a road is for. On the road again. Oh, no. Copyright. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, this is red. Is this metal? That's a bin. Okay, we can search it. It had, it had a chicken inside, which was rancid. We found a rancid chicken. A dirty rag can be cleaned and turned into bandages. Interesting. We're looking through garbage. What? Oh, is that a gun? I thought there was a gun under the rubbish. Okay. Now, I wonder what is in this game so far already? I mean, we can loot. We can combat with zombies. We can craft. But is there such a thing as um, farming or base building? I don't know. What is this? Oh, this gives you the map. Use a compass to show your position on the map. Okay, do I have a compass? I don't think I have a compass. Yeah, I don't think I have a compass. Oh, look at that. That's the key to the map. Nice. There's some tires. Oh, there's something on the road. Is that me? Ah! Look at all these horny zombies. And these arrows lead to a camp? Oh, if they lead to a camp, then... Oh! Ooh. Hey! No, no, come here. Come here. Not climb in. Okay. okay. Let's close the door so we don't get interrupted when we. They're upstairs, I think. Well, I'm not gonna go in there. Screw that. Is there any ammunition? Is there any money? Oh, this has to be... Oh, batteries. AA batteries. <coughs> I think they're coming through the door. I thought there was a bark here. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that zombie. Oh, ow! He is ugly. You're ugly. I'm sorry, but you are. Okay, so where is it now? Under three? No, two. Two is handguns, four is shotguns, five is flashlights, tools, six. This has to be a better weapon than... Um, not enough parts to activate. Okay, we need a light bulb. Oh, what do we have? Scrap metal! Yes! Empty can, we take it as well. Awesome. Okay, we can't destroy it. Breaker panel, open up. Circuit breaker, one. Okay, let's take it. Why not? Use inside breaker panels to help prevent power tripping. Well, in that case, we're gonna put it back in. Okay, and can we... Panel activated. Meter inactive, attach generator and turn on meters. So you can put generators in there and turn on meters. Reminds me a little bit of mist. Yes, it, it, it has a little bit of a mist feel there, all right. Um, it seems like this game had a lot of improvements. Um, I think I never played it originally. I only watched it, but uh, then decided to give it a miss at the time. OK, 
Okay. Okay, we cannot um, hit it with an axe. That's very strange. So an axe is considered a tool and we cannot use it to attack a zombie. That is weird. That is very weird. Okay, so we have some firewood. We can actually, let's turn it on. Oh, can we can add some tinder. Turn it on. Excellent. Look at that. And now we can heal up. Nice. Or was it the hitbox? There's chickens in the game, yes. So somebody was saying that I can probably attack with the hatchet. It could be just the hitbox that you have to get much closer. Could be. Is infectionating a thing? Um, Uncle 7 am I don't know, but I think you can get sick in general because I think when you drink the dirty water, it has a chance to make you sick. This is what it says here anyway. Um, hang on, inventory. There. Sickness chance per potion, portion, 80%. So you have an 80% chance of getting sick. So there definitely is um, this type of thing. Can be used to cut trees and craft resources. So it doesn't seem to be a thing. So we have to try cutting a tree. Can we, hang on, can we cut this? Okay. So this game seems to be, I don't know what the term for it is. So you can't just hit everything and destroy everything. You can only, for example, use the hatch on a tree or that's pretty much it. So it seems that whatever tool you're holding in your hand is very much tied to certain actions on certain items. So you most likely can't attack a zombie wizard or wreck a kitchen cabinet wizard or something like that. That's all looted already. So that's going to be the only problem with playing on servers is the already looted areas. Okay, that's all zero. Okay, so let's stay here for a second. Fill up a little bit more health. And then we're going to chop some trees and see how that works. Oh, it's just a hitbox um, uh, issue with this one, uh, says Nick. Very good. Any kind of food on top of that would open to stop and cook it. Oh, you can actually put... Place things on top? Okay, let me see. So if I have food... Baked beans, a can. Can I drop it? Oh, look at that! Wow, that is amazing! It even makes a noise and the smoke will become darker when cooked. That is pretty awesome. What is our stat uh, what is our stats currently say? Hang on. Can we a little bit hard Oh, we have no calories. Oh wow. Okay, so we have to wait for the smoke to go a little bit darker, I would guess. It's not finished yet. Lightning and shadow are on point. Yeah, it seems to be a good job with the shadows and everything. That seems to be really nice. Oh, there we go. Avoid using a can opener by cooking cans on fire. Now that is funny. That is funny. So how many calories do we get from that? Only 150. Whoa, we need some real fatty food. We have a rancid chicken. Could we drop that? Is that gonna cook? Okay, that looks... I don't know if I would eat this, but we wait until it's cooked. Okay, let's go down and chop a tree in the meantime. Oh, what is in this door? Oh, I can search the toilet. Okay, no bottle or... Oh, oh, I can fill up... Oh, yes, good old seven days to die. Alpha 15, was it? Will you fill up your canteen? Hang on a second. Can I not just cook the canteen? Cooked items become burned if left on... Um, it's still rancid, though. So I would say... Um, let's leave it there. But does that mean I can put my canteen theoretically here? And it will cook. We solved our problem purifying water. Nice. 
hey, go. And I was looking around for scrap metal to make a grill if we can. I had that in my original house. I didn't need a grill. Currently, hunting deer is the best food. So tell me, Nick, if you know the game so much better, which I hope, what is currently kind of the, the progression? Like, is, is, is there base building in it? Is there, you know, because I saw down here that it mentions if you build a generator or you put a generator nearby, you can activate it or something. So that's what it said here when we tried to open it. Meter inactive. Attach generator and turn on meter. So does that mean that we have to find a generator and can place it here or we connect some things? I don't know. I have no idea. That's why I'm asking, obviously. Okay, so let's see. Oh. Okay, electric meter. Can we... Oh, an extension cord. Can we not turn it on? No, we can't. Okay. Let's check out the tree chopping. Okay. It makes the cut bigger. Is it going to drop the tree? Okay. Come on. Yeah, it seems that the, when you hold down the mouse, it doesn't always work. So you have to go all the way around, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So you have to basically cut it all the way around. Then. Um, you can lock up a house, barricade it, and also power it up with a generator. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can use a vehicle as well to power up houses by placing it near the meter while turned on. Okay. Hatchet takes a lot of hits compared to the axe. So, what can we do with the wood? Is that just for firewood then? I don't know. Can we do... Oh, look at that. So, it has actually green highlighted the areas we should chop. There we go. Excellent. And what about this? We can take it. Increasing your overall health will allow you to carry more items. So in the moment we're full, we can't actually carry this. That is interesting. Um, can we drink the clean water? The shadow when shopping has its own personality. So, I'm assuming um, we're going to have to obviously loot and find all these parts and potentially just make a house our own and say, okay, this is the one we're going to stay in so that you can collect all the items that you might need. What does that say? Campsite. Okay, so campsite is here. Churches are usually very good houses. Okay, this house has also a meter. <laughs> guys use the crate tap to sharpen oh to sharpen okay how do we get a stone hey guys okay they don't care at all oh no okay can we fist the coffee? With our fists right in the face. Awesome. Yeah, we don't need we don't we don't need a weapon. Oh genie man. This guy looks like we're gonna hurt ourselves on his face when we do that. Can we jump in the window as well? Oh we can. Nice. I wish seven days to die had that way could crouch into one body. They used to have that for a short period of time. I know I'm probably gonna die, but I'm kind of, I want to see what happens when I die as well, so. Hey. 
we're not gonna go down without a fight. So always go for the face, it staggers them. Alright, let's, 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 there you go. We can grab him by the penis because that's what you do. It's like, I killed you, I deserve the right to grab him by the face. There we go. Look at that. Yep, that's exactly where I loot people. Oh, sorry, we have to continue with that trend. There we go. Standing close to a fire will slowly heal you. I know, we did it a few times before, but thank you. Oh. Oh, please. Is this the right rounds? I don't know. If I know anything about guns from 7 Days to Die, this is going to be a 6.7, 7.762, something. I don't know. Yep, can't reload it. Ah, oh, well. Um, how do I get out of this weapon mode? Unarmed, okay. Yeah, I don't like the way this does it with the weapon mode. That's player storage, which is empty. Oh, we can log off here and sleep, okay. So let's go and die and see um, a cracker box. Okay. Dog food. We can cook that. Oh, look at that. A handsaw. So we probably can do use that for crafting. An R6 needs 308. Oh, 0.308 ammunition. Yeah, houses have an interesting number of zombies in them. That's absolutely true. What is that? A voodoo doll. That poor bear. Somebody molested this bear. So tell me, little bear, where did that human touch you? Show it to me on this bear doll. Okay. Oh, there's nothing in the dryer. Okay. So we just basically go from house to house, see if we can find the items that we need. Let's see if there's something in here we can take. Well, we can take that circuit breaker because the one we want to fix are, is over here in this house. So if we use this house as the one we're going to hold up in, because it's so nicely defensible with all these open windows. Um, let's put the other breaker in here, I suppose. Add. Add. There you go. Oh, I can move that. Okay. No pistol and no poo in the toilet. Searching bird's nest with no feathers. That's correct. We're gonna have to heal up a bit. No, actually, I want to see what happens when we die. Okay, so... Oh, what is this? 9mm round. Why, why do I have all this ammunition for, for guns I don't have? <laughs> That's not right. Okay, where's our bread roll? Hang on. Let's sleep so we can save. Oh, no. We place it down, our bread roll, and then we automatically sleep, isn't it? Let's misc um, place. So now here is where we spawn, is it? I don't know. Let's just assume we do. Let's go and find a zombie to die with. I'm sure there's some zombies here. Oh, is this metal? Oh, this looks like we might find metal here. Yes, so this is where we can find scrap metal. That is awesome. Cardboard, cardboard. Okay. Let's check out what is in here. Okay, come on. Whoa. Dude. Oh, there they are. Let's open that up. Hey! Okay, let's see what happens when I die. Okay, respawn. So, where do I respawn now?
And in zombie apocalypse, I don't know if I would sit outside right in the open and have a campfire going. Oh, okay, we spawned basically in the wild. So me putting down that rock didn't help. And I bet you all my inventory is empty. Yes. The only thing we have is our headlamp. Very good. And it's day one again. Huh? Oh. So no matter how long the zombie, uh, the server is live, it will always be day one for me when I die. Okay, that's a bit confusing. Look at this chicken on the roof. What the hell are you doing? That is hacks. I can't do that. There you go. There we go. Nice. I bet you this is now 038 ammunition notes. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so far so good we actually haven't gotten hit yet that's good the zombies in the toilet those chicken we have to get on the roof and make short work of them player storage. There's very little loot actually in these houses. I got a lucky shot. Here. Okay. Dirty rag. Okay, let's see. So if we quit, then we will spawn there again. So when you die, you're on a new character. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, maintain a healthy diet. So loot, loot, and then basically anything you can do is like, hopefully with the items that you find. And I suppose kill zombies, but there seems to be at the moment no greater purpose besides that. Is, th is that about right? Like, you know, in seven days to die, you have the zombies which come every seven die, every every seven dies, every seven days. In, um, in the ARC version of the zombie game, I forgot what it's called. So it's, it's, I think it's just called Survive Nights, so survive, Surviving Something. And uh, th that is kind of, you have the workbenches, you progress, you, you kind of have a progression path for crafting. And here as well, but you have to find a lot more items, like, because it's more realistic, I would assume. So that's the server. So let's see where we spawn again. Thank you very much for the bits, uh, Pyromeister. Ninja, Ninja Glander, thank you very much for the resub. Seven months in a row. And Amaya Lovely, thank you very much for the bits and Fate as well. Logging off with beds, logging back on at the same spot, but without a bed, you log back in a bit away from where you locked off. Okay. So if there is a bed, you log back in at the bed. And if you're away from it, it's... Um, if you don't have a bed, then you can log back in a little bit away from it. So every time we die, it's like a brand new character. Okay. So it's like permadeath. Oh yeah, we already looted this. The doors were just open. So, oh, yeah, again, player storage. Everything is player storage, so there is actually very little loot because there's nothing in player storage. Again, player storage. It seems to me there's a little abundance of player storage. <laughs> And to get wood, we have to find loose pieces of wood. Which are very hard to find, it seems. 
So there's not really a lot of wood flying around. And that's for berries. Yeah, that's right. So we can't chop trees unless we have a hatchet or an axe. We can't get wood and tinder unless we can find trees, I suppose, in the wild that are knocked down. So this here, this location is completely useless then for finding anything. You can travel back to where you died, but I don't have a map, so I don't actually know where it is because I don't know the map. I have no idea where I'm actually going. So I could be walking away from my body, I could be walking... Oh, this one there will have wooden tinder, I think. That will definitely look like something. I think that looks like something. Got firewood. No tinder, though. How do you craft an axe? Oh, axe handle, axe head. So what do you need for an axe head? You need just two scrap metal, okay. Oh, you need a sharpening stone. How do, how do you do that? You can't craft a sharpening stone, so you have to find a sharpening stone. That's interesting. So what is this? Um, you can travel back um, to where you died and try to loot your dead body. Is that confirmed? Just curious. Um, yes, um, you've done it. So you can definitely do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, DX Sago. I wouldn't call myself butch, I would call myself fat. That's probably more <laughs> the right description. <laughs> well, it should be anyway, around the midsection. There we go, there's more trees. So we might get actually some tinder there. Um. Is this game on Steam? Yes, it is. Survive the Nights is currently on Steam. It entered early access today. Officially, it was the Alpha 1. This is the Alpha 1, as you can see up there on the top uh, right. It says... Now, it says unlisted early access, which I don't know what that means, because up to yesterday, when you searched for Survive the Nights on Steam, it wouldn't give you search results. But if you had the direct link to the store page, you could see it. And today, you were able to search for it. And as far as I know, they officially released in early, into early access today. So, but again, I don't know a lot about the game yet. So, so far, all we did was um, explore the map a little bit, explore some houses. You can find a lot of items. It seems that some of the items you can use to, to get um, things working in houses, like ge like generators. You can use cars, apparently. Um, Nick said about uh, that you can use cars near the houses to use them basically as a power source. I'm assuming they have a working battery inside. You have little items like spark plugs and everything, so I'm assuming that means um, you can start power in a house, which would be very good. Oh, this guy looks so freaky. He looks like something out of a, one of those ghost houses. Okay, is that tinder? Can we get some tinder in here? Okay. Loads of bullets, just not for the sniper. Okay, come on. No, what are you doing? Pick it up. There you go. Antiseptic. Okay, so antiseptic and rags, I assume, will clean them. I don't know. What is this? Oh, yes. So if we put so it has firewood, but we have no tinder. Can we craft tinder? We can from dirty. Oh, great. So we can craft that. Put that in here, and then we can turn the fire on here. There we go. And now we can kneel in front of it. And stay nice and warm. I like the way I'm kneeling down and having my hands out, but my character is standing up. Oh no, he's kneeling down. Okay. Fair enough. 
but my hands are in front of my face. Ooh. <laughs> it looks very nice and fun. Well, it, it does look aesthetically very nice. Um, I have to say that. It's very nice. But it's very confusing, of course, still at the moment because you don't know which parts are for what exactly. And I don't think you can build custom bases. And I don't know if that's going to be something that will be in the game. But going by the trailers, the initial trailers and the advertising they had, unless I'm mixing it up with another game, it did show that you can barricade, like build bases. Or that's the aim in the game that you eventually can build bases, which may or may not be in the game right now. I don't think it is, but I remember trailers where they were showing base building and all that, but I could be mixing it up. There's no custom bases like in Roast, but you will be able to barricade houses up heavily with more options in the future. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Okay, so we're back to full health. So let's go outside. See if we can find that town again. Okay, we have a main street here, main road, which is very good. Now it's just about picking a side, I suppose, or... Oh, there's houses over there. Yeah, let's just walk right across there. That looks familiar, actually. That looks like... A oh, there's deer. That looks like a place where we were at some point. Or it may not. It's a big map. <laughs> so this is seven days to die. Who's the mod by? No, it's, uh, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's a texture pack for seven days to die. Now, I do think seven days to die looks nicer, though, I, I, from the style. This looks. This goes more for a realistic vibe. Meanwhile, Seven Days to Die, while it kind of is realistic in in some ways, it's more of a very ever so subtle cartoony blend to the textures. Okay, so I don't think we can do much with this place. <gasps> oat box. We can completely have oatmeal. <gasps> a car. Okay, we can search it, but it doesn't drive. One scrap metal. Oh, no. Really? Just one lousy scrap metal. It's the chicken chicken of doom. Yeah, this is not a town. This is just a small couple of, I don't know, farmhouses, slaughterhouses, whatever. This <laughs> looks like it's working. Um, open engine. Oh, there is no engine. Oh, okay, I'm being hit. How do I get out? How do I get out? No, this is not good. I'm being hit. I can't defend myself. I can't, I can't exit. I can't <sighs> exit. Okay. No idea how to exit the car. It probably was a set key or something. I don't know. Yeah, I probably would have to look exactly at the door and press something. But whatever I pressed on, it kept sitting in the car. 